Hi everybody, it's me, Corrie T, and in this video I want to talk about how to manifest a new job or work. Lots of you have asked me about this recently. Interestingly, just after I did that post um, about Johnny, who was talking about when he was having a very difficult time, this time last year, when he was looking for a job in software development, when previously he'd always been a TEFL teacher, teaching English as a foreign language, and he went through this big a year of teaching himself to be a software uh, developer and it took a really long time he worked his ass off and then he was incredibly disappointed to be met with just being ignored over and over and over again when he started applying for jobs he applied for maybe a thousand or more jobs during a three-month period or maybe more than that and everybody it felt like everybody was ignoring him and he was getting more and more deflated and actually, from my perspective, what was coming up was his own narrative about if he could get a job or not. He previously had the experience before he was a TEFL teacher of feeling like he was being ignored and he had that narrative running in the background. So whenever he transitioned into this new career, he was met with that same fear again. So it was really interesting for me from my perspective and very difficult uh, not to try and coach him um, and just be his girlfriend at the time but what I was seeing was his narrative playing out the the difficulty that he had in that experience was mostly due to his belief about how capable he was of getting a job or not getting a job so this is the first thing there are two things when it comes to manifesting a job right one is that you've got to believe that it is possible you have to believe that that job that you want exists and i'll tell you now it does the job that you want exists it's already there it's just a matter of time before it becomes available to you okay so that's the first thing and the second thing is you've got to persist this is this is when the word persist makes sense to me you have to persist in knowing that a job will will be yours it's it's going to happen it's inevitable something will come up and it really is only a matter of time i've had many times in in my life where i've been looking for a job and i don't know where the job is i don't know what it's going to be but i trust that it will come and therefore those periods of not having a job are not that stressful they've not been that bad because I know that it will come, it's inevitable. And actually, if you think about this in any area of manifestation, anything that you're wanting to create, you will make the situation a lot less stressful if you have that blind faith in knowing that what you want is on its way to you, right? So believe that it's possible, believe that it exists, the job that you want, and keep going. And by keep going, when it comes to manifesting a job, I mean, you've got to keep your eye out. You can't just, I know that some people might disagree when it comes to manifestation. You know, maybe it's true. Maybe you have to do nothing at all. And this job will just fall into your lap and someone will knock on your door and say, hey, I have a job for you. But actually, it might take a lot longer if you do that. And you will feel better if you're being proactive right? I believe you'll just feel better if you're being proactive about it, believing that at some point this will pay off. So uh, when it comes to looking for a job, it's it's taking the stress away because you know that it's going to come. And, and casually looking looking at the job ads, if you feel like doing that, talking to people, having conversations, actually going out because you never know who you're going to speak to and who you're going to meet and what conversations are going to happen and, and where that's going to lead. I've heard so many stories of people who've not manifested a job through looking at job ads all day, every day, um, but maybe they've done some of that. But actually what had happened was they'd gone, right, I surrender, I'm not doing any of this anymore, I'm bored of that. And then they left the house and then they'd had a conversation with someone at the gym or something and they'd said, actually, we need another person in this department or that department. Um, maybe I can set you up with someone. And it happens that way, right? So we don't know how the job's going to come, but we know that it's going to come. It's going to happen. Um, <clears throat> I found recruitment agencies really, really helpful for me. Every job that I ever got in the last 10 years, apart from obviously this one that I've created now, was through a recruitment agency. And I found that they were kind of doing a lot of the work for me, doing a lot of the searching. They wanted me to get a job because obviously that would be good for them. So I felt like they were on my side and that was the narrative that I have. 
I know that some people don't have that narrative and they think recruitment agencies are rubbish, but I actually really liked recruitment agencies. The other thing that I know that I personally have done in the past when it comes to manifesting a job is be really on it. Like, don't worry about being annoying with the recruitment agencies. I rang them up every day. I would ring them up every day going, hi, it's me again. Yeah, it's me. Is there, is there anything new? Just so they wouldn't forget me. <laughs> So that's how that's how I've always managed to get a job and how I've built my confidence with um, knowing that it's possible because I make sure that people know that I exist. And so when I was uh, there was that was that time when I was 24, I was only 24 and I was only earning about £12,000 a year in the job that I was doing it just wasn't enough. I was really struggling and um, I was sitting in my job looking at other job ads um, and I saw this one, which was social media specialist, was about triple the salary that I was on. And I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to I'm just going to apply to it. And I'm probably going to get it because I'm really good at social media. And actually, I had none of the qualifications. I had none of them. I, I saw all the things that they wanted, like a degree in marketing. Didn't have that. Um, all of these other things, which I didn't have, three years experience in marketing, didn't have that. But I thought, I'm going to ring them up and I'm going to tell them that I am the right person for the job. <laughs> and I'm going to get it. And I was that sure about it. And I, I applied for it. I rang up my um, grandpa and said, guess what? I found a job. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it. And I was really confident about it. And I went to this interview and I was brought in that confidence with me. Um, and I got the job. Long story short, I got the job and it was like, I was amazed because my whole life changed suddenly. That was, that was the biggest transformation in my financial life. Um, obviously apart from my business that I've created, actually lots of people have been asking me to do, um, workshops or something on how to create a business and there's so much that I can talk about when it comes to creating a business particularly a coaching business so if anybody is interested in that let me know um, because I might create something for that there's a lot of people asking me but whenever I got that first job which completely shifted my mindset about money because I'd, I'd always struggled with money and then suddenly I had a job which was paying me triple what I was earning before. Not only that, they were pe they paid for me to go to um, Vietnam and stay in this amazing five star hotel. And me and all these other people who were in the same team as me went and had the best time ever. And it was beyond what I had imagined. So why not think that there's a job there that is better than than you could even imagine right now? Because there is. I mean, that's happened to me and it's happened to many other people. And the same thing with Johnny, like he persisted, he struggled with his beliefs about if he would get a job. But the, the main thing was that he persisted. He kept on going. He kept on looking for the job. He didn't give up, right? He didn't go into uh, a place where he just thought, right, I give up on this. It's not happening. He could have because he felt so bad. He felt so, so bad. And I really, really do empathise with you if you're struggling with um, that feeling of feeling like when's it going to happen and life is stressful because you need the money um, and you're feeling ignored. It's a really difficult place to be and is actually one of the... Um, things that really does make people very feel very depressed so if you're going through this you have to be really gentle with yourself but you do have to keep going you have to keep um being true with yourself you know about this process um but be proactive ring people talk to people get out and about but trust take the stress away by trusting that wherever you are now is where you're meant to be and you will get that job in time and it will be right you know, sometimes one of the blocks that people have when it comes to manifesting work is that they refuse to take anything less than the, the dream, what they want. And I really understand that because you might have been doing something you really hate for a really long time, but you don't want to. So you don't want to take another thing that you, you know you're not going to like. Um, but sometimes with that financial stress, it it gives you this energy that makes you feel like you're in lack and then... Um, everything is in a negative spiral really and also if you're sitting at home and you're just in your house with yourself and your thoughts that can can really quickly bring you into a very negative spiral so 
there are times in my life where I've just taken anything. I've just taken something to get me out of the house. And I've worked in some places that you'd never imagine me working in. Like I worked in a car sale garage and I know nothing about cars. I know nothing about cars. <laughs> <laughs> and but I had to take this job because I needed the money and it was only something like nine pounds an hour but it got me out of the house and it got me talking to other people and in the meantime the recruitment agencies were working for me trying to find something else which then happened I worked then I got another job straight after that for Cambridge University on you know again a really good salary for a few days a week a couple of days a week while I was doing my master's degree and it what it worked really really well for me it wasn't like what I wanted to do in the long run but financially it took away all that pressure and it was easy it was just an easy job so um sometimes I think I do recommend taking something to get you out of the house um and also to take away some of that financial pressure knowing that the job that you want the one that you actually are manifesting is on its way it's coming you're going to that's going to happen and you're still going to be on the lookout for it you're still imagining it you're not giving up you're still on the journey there so sometimes i think that can and shift your energy a bit so that you're better able to create what it is that you want um and just take away that pressure um and actually that is what happened with johnny it's really interesting he actually accepted a job which was not ideal it it really wasn't ideal at all and he he was just about to sign that contract and he'd gone because ah, he knew he was going to get some money and that made him feel better two days later he got two other job offers which were way better for him so much better and you know the one that he's ended up in is completely remote working from home um and it was a it was a good salary and basically it was everything that he'd actually wanted and a really good stepping stone for his um career transition so that was as soon as he'd let go so that's interesting again isn't it that's why i think sometimes taking a job in anything can just help you socially help you to meet other people get you out of the house you never know what it's going to lead to um when you just do a job that is maybe not necessarily what you choose it gives you another experience um but also it just takes away that pressure so that's one thing one suggestion um but also just keep on visioning and believing that the job that you want is there you are capable of getting it and any stress that you're feeling in the process of getting there is just a lack of trust in it happening money comes and say that to yourself as an affirmation money comes and money goes but money always comes again money always comes again that's something that I live by money always comes so going back to the fundamentals of this video the main thing is you know if you're really stressed about not having a job there may be some narrative there about you not having a job so First of all, you've got to believe that it is possible and that the job that you want exists. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is persisting. And in my opinion, being proactive and just keep on doing it. Eventually, something has to break with the universe. Something has to give. So something's going to happen if you keep telling the universe, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. Hello. And you knock on all the doors and eventually one of them will open. And it'll be easy. It won't be difficult. It will happen very naturally. And before you know it, you'll be telling me that you've got a new job and that everything's fine and that you manifested it. When really what you did was you just believed it and you kept going and that's it. And eventually it will happen. So I hope you found this video useful. If you would like any information about the Conscious Creators Masters Academy, I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you in the next video.